cowboys one more time. Heard you met Ironclad Cordite. Welcome back to <laughs> Wasteland 3, folks. Uh, so I just traveled out of the bunker, and uh, Angela here, she uh, she came on the horn. So I figured I'd start recording so that you see what's happening. So break one nine. This is Red Dead Red calling those November Cowboys one more time. Heard you met Ironclad Cordite. Uh, how'd you hear that? Yeah, how did you hear that? You tricked us into killing people who worked for the Patriarch. You put us in a bad spot. You met Cordite, I wrote. All right, he was locked up in that bunker, just like you said. How did you hear that? Oh, well, I've got friends all over, and they've all got good eyes. Okay. Um... Uh... Hmm. So now that you've talked to Cordite, you know what the Patriarch is really like, right? Uh, talk to a criminal with a grudge. How are we supposed to trust his opinion any more than we can, can yours? Yes, Cordite opened our eyes. Uh, we're not sure about anything now, but you, can, you and Cordite have given us a lot to think about. Uh, so we talked to a criminal with a grudge. Well, I guess you got to make up your own mind. I just wanted you to know that the way the Patriarch tells the story ain't the only way there is to tell it. Is he That's true. Now? Uh, why is Cordite so important to you? Let's just say there are places where our hopes for the future overlap. Now, do you have him or not? Yeah, we have him. Come on, you, we need you to tell us more about Cordite. Sorry, cowboys. Not till I can trust you a little bit more. Now, don't keep me in suspense. Is he with you? Uh, we rescued him. Glad to hear it. Do your best to keep him alive. He could really help us out when things start happening. For now, just keep helping the Patriarch collar his kids. We're with him on that. Can't have a bunch of rabid animals running around loose, can we? No. Although, I guess he wants you to bring him back alive. We, uh, we don't care so much about their condition. <laughs> Fact is, Colorado will be a whole lot safer without him. The Patriarch's heirs will always have a claim on this land. And from what I hear, they're even worse than Buchanan himself. Yeah, that's what we hear too. Anyhow, I'll be in touch. Dead red, over and out. Alright. So, we have Kordak with us. The, the question is, do we really need to keep him with us? Uh, and I don't think so. I think we run back and drop him off, him off at Ranger HQ for one of our I other guys. He was down at the old air base to greet the Rangers, I think. Before that, uh, Seems like no one really cares that we rescued him. I guess the marshals don't know who he is, so... I guess we shouldn't... Probably shouldn't visit the palace right now with him in tow, though. Colorado Springs is a center of authority for most of the settlements and factions of Colorado. Okay. Kind of knew that. So if you're enjoying Wasteland 3, if you're enjoying the videos, enjoying the series, uh, I would really appreciate it if you'd hit that like button. It really helps me out a lot. And as I said, I really, really do appreciate it every time you hit that like button. If you're not enjoying it, by all means, hit the dislike button. Uh, that's fair enough. And also, if you're new to the channel, why not hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you know when new videos are coming out. I do videos uh, daily of quite a few games, so... At the moment we're playing Wasteland 3, we're playing Cepheus Protocol, we're playing Factorio Multiplayer. Hey, this is Ranger HQ. A couple vehicles rolled up and set up right outside our base. Real shady characters. Their leader is a woman named La Perla, who claims to have business with the Rangers, but won't specify what it is to us. Ring any bells? Mm, nope. La Perla? No idea. Figured. We'll keep them outside the base for you to deal with in good time. Over and out. Okay. All right. <sighs> Well, we're heading back to Ranger HQ. 
Would you rather freeze to death or burn? You're a barrel of monkeys, huh? Come on. Uh, yes, we want question. to travel there. Right, all right. Burn. Fusion Air Force Base shares an airfield with Colorado Springs Municipal Airport, which housed many pre-war government command centers. Okay. All right, back at Ranger Hello? HQ. Red Hats! Is this thing on? This is Charlie Nose! <laughs> don't have to shout, dude. You don't have to yell, Charlie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Glad I got a hold of you, Red Hat. Friend. And then he keeps yelling. Your old friend Charlie is at it again. I found a way to increase our fortunes. How does that sound? Over! <laughs> Over! Fortunes sound great, great, but could you please stop yelling? Tell us more, but please, more quietly. Uh, fortunes sound great, but could you please stop yelling? Ha ha! I mean, ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> Charlie knows visited the bazaar and you know how important it is to trade in Colorado and more importantly how wealthy it is yeah the problem is the monster army holding it is weak without your help they'd already be gone but sooner or later someone is gonna wipe them out so why not make it a cartel stronghold with your help it'll be easy and You'll be well compensated for your contribution. Hmm. I'm not sure I want to attack the monster army. It's a thousand dollar reward though, and Charlie's key card, whatever that opens. I wonder, does it open the door that we can't get through in our base? That may be. I don't know any of anywhere else that we need a key card for. Hmm. Why would you want to work with us after what happened in Little Vegas? Why would we trust you? What does well compensated mean? Um, why would we trust why you? you? I dealt straight with you so far, right? Didn't I tell you the truth about McTavish? Don't I? Always tell you the truth. Come on, Red Hats. It's me, your old buddy Charlie. Mm. What does well compensate Don't worry. mean? Your old buddy Charlie won't sell you short. We just need a little assistance, and you'll be paid handsomely. Okay, why would you want to work with us? Well, since Mr. Brigo is gone, Charlie has found himself bereft of gainful employment. But when opportunity comes knocking, who does Charlie know who's efficient and can handle themselves in a fight? You well, help me with this, and there'll be no hard feelings about the nightclub business, Red Hats. It's simple economics. Uh, I don't know. I want the key card. <laughs> I really want the key card. Even though I don't know if it actually opens our doors in our base, but... I really want that key card. Let's do it. I knew you'd say that. All right. We have a hideout not far from the bizarre entrance, near the old parking lot. We'll hold up there and wait for you. Bring your whole team, and the bazaar will be ours. Okay. Hola, Rangers. Oh, La Perla. I think before we talk to her. Hola, Rangers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold your horses. Stay sharp. I 
think. Yeah, I think we want so cordite here. That's some pretty good stuff on him. Right, let's take all that off you. And let's talk to Jody here. I know I'm always saying we should do whatever the Patriarch tells us so we don't fail the folks back home. But I can't help thinking. We should have helped the Hoons instead of that transport. Yeah, you're probably right. We could use you out you there. Bet. Ready when you are. All right, Cordite, you're getting replaced. Because... Jody... Yeah, you have weird science and you have sniper rifles, you have animal whisper. We want you. And she has a level up. Uh, but let's equip her first. So weird science. This uh, weapon modding and armor modding plus one. That's mechanics plus one. Uh, let's see, what can you use? We've got that trooper helmet, which is kind of nice. This thing requires four strength. What do you have for strength now? Three. I think we'll get you up to four, just to give you a bit more... Um, a bit more health, and then you can use that helmet. Um, Weird Science 7. Hmm. I'm actually thinking Animal Whisper. Or am I? Let's undo the changes. Because... Do we have a good mechanic right now? Yeah, we do. What don't we have? We don't have a good. Don't have a toaster repair guy, but. Let's get that. And. The beast ally brings something primal and pure in your animal companion, just provide you with better passive bonuses. That seems kind of nice. Weird science. Um, you know what? I think I will grab that. You do have an, a level up now, an actual level up. So. Let's max out lock picking. Oh, and automatic weapons needs coordination, awareness, and speed. Coordination is maxed, maxed already. So let's get awareness up some. And for perks. We don't have anything that we really want. Nah. Could do the healthy. Mm. No, I think we will do the healthy. Let's do that. Alright, anyone else have anything? Nah. Alright, so we have Pro D Jody with us. D we didn't equip her, did we? No. Uh, so. Need some pants. That's the best armor. Then you need. That. 
And then I guess the trooper helmet. You can't use that yet. Yeah. All right, and then you of course need a sniper rifle. Ooh, that's the megascope. Ooh, I forgot about that. Marksman rifle, 53 to 73. 44 to 61. I guess it's this one. She already has some stuff down here. All right, so she is now ready for action. Now, do we have any striking distance? This is permanent, so I guess we'll go heal up at the dock. We still have our clone. What do you need, Rangers? I'd like to be patched I'll do up. What I can. Have a seat. Never mind. I don't mind not having to clean and suture a vestry wound. All right. So, if we look at consumables here, I think we're set. I don't think we need to buy anything from him. So let's head over here because we do need some ammo. I'm pretty sure. bad for the refugees. A lot of people are pissed at them. Like it's their fault they're in this situation. Happy to. Take a look. 10% discount. Not bad. Alright. Ammo. We don't have any 762 ammo. So we need that. Let's sell our junk. We have 733. Now I have 1170. That wasn't that much junk. That wasn't that much junk. So, we could definitely use this. Let's buy that. Then we could use some... 556 ammo. Oh, that's expensive. Let's buy like 150. And I actually think we could use some spikes as well. But I guess we won't buy any just now. I think we're set for everything else, pretty much. Weapons. I don't think we want to buy anything. Photon turner, submachine gun, okay. Base blaster revolver. That's pretty nice. Yeah, we're not gonna... We do have some stuff that we could sell. We're, we're gonna keep these two in case we need Cordite with us again. The rib cracker we could sell. We could sell some of all this armor. a lot of weapon and armor mods. We need, really need to check that if we need to mod anything. What's that? Ice spikes. Mm. Alright, you know what? Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell one of these. And I think we'll keep the rest. Mm. 
this laser pistol. Sell that. We have two of these scourers, so sell one of those. Alright, I think we'll keep the rest. We have so many of these mods, man. Yeah, we'll keep them. We'll keep them. All right. Cool. And then... I think... Jody, your stuff can all be improved. We have this thing which gives a healing bonus, which is kind of nice. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. something there right, your weapon magazine size plus eight wow what is your mag magazine size on this you take five shots with it you can only take four with that. <clears throat> I'm actually thinking that I'd rather have the magazine thing on a handgun because they cost less AP to fire, so you take more shots with them. We'll definitely put the scope on, right? And the underbarrel. I don't think we need that. I don't want that. So I think we'll confirm this. All right. Cool, cool. Okay, so we are getting close to out of time, but let's go talk to La Perla here before we end the episodes. The woman stands like a queen among a gang of hard men. She gives you a sleepy, dangerous smile. <laughs> Peace, strangers. We all know both sides are armed and lethal, so why don't we just skip the posturing and get to business, huh? A girl I own ran away recently, and it's proving harder than expected to track her down. She seems to sense us when we get too close. You, on the other hand, should never suspect. Hell with your reputation for rescuing little lost lambs, she might even seek you out. So, what you say, hmm? Want to find her for us? I think she said she owned her, so she must be a slaver, right? A girl you own? Are you slavers? Yeah. Who are you? What's the girl's name? What's in it for us? You're despicable. Girl you own? Are you slavers? <laughs> that bothers you? You find it unethical? You kill crazy, corpse-robbing, tyrant-funded gun jockeys are offended at how I make my living? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Sorry, compadres. This is the end times. 
Nothing but us devils left. Uh, who are you? I'm La Perla. And these? He sweeps an arm out to encompass her are retinue. Who are you? Ah, yes. Cordite. We've done business before. Tell your friends I'm a plain dealer, huh? Square with me. Okay. Uh, what's in it for us? What are you doing? Why are we even talking to this slaver? <clears throat> Take it easy, farm girl. Leave matters of business to the adults, huh? You know the sealed rooms in your base? Bet you're curious what's inside them. I am really, really curious what's inside them. Bueno, I'll tell you for free. It's old world tech. The kind people waged wars for. And I know the codes. In the name of good faith, I'll give you one now. Nine zero zero nine zero nine three five zero zero. Test if you like. I'll wait. <laughs> We're gonna test it all right. You'll get the second code. The one that gets you into the room with the even better goodies. When you bring me my lost little lamb. Well, if the goodies are so good, why didn't you take them yourself? How do you know about these sealed rooms? We used to stay here all the time before we moved east. Had plenty of time to explore all its nooks and crannies. Hey, don't worry. No hard feelings about you taking it over. We like our new home on the plains. <laughs> Those warlords have a lot of money to spend. Hey, what's the girl's name? Ellie. No. Hallie, I think. Anyway, her new owner will rename her. What's important is her description. Early 20s, blonde, shapely, skin like a princess. You'll know her when you see her, I promise you. She'll make your little hearts go Peter Pat. <laughs> You'll get the okay. second code. The one that gets you into the room with the even better goodies. When you bring me my lost little lamb. Uh... We're going to go verify that code first. Not a problem. Come see me when you've kitted yourselves out in your fancy new gear. <laughs> Adios, compadres. Right, we're definitely going to ch go check that out. We're going to check it out now. I can't wait. But I still think Charlie's key card... So, she, the second code... I think Charlie's key card will open the second room. So we don't have to do this for her, maybe. The door guarding this vault is enormous and recessed into the walls. Floors and ceiling... It, uh, into the walls, floors and ceiling, ceiling. It appears that it can only be opened with that numeric keypad on the wall several feet away. Enter the number La Perla told you. The door begins to slide open. Nice. Now what's in here? There's the second door. I don't see another door there, but there's definitely more stuff in here. So... There's two weapon crates in this... How, how do we get into this area? Because there's more stuff. Right, well, let's, let's see what's here. There's just this one weapon crate. Let's check it. PDA. Nerf stuff plus one. Okay. Tank armor. Uh, a full tank set. Okay. 
loot all that. Right, but you already have tank, a full tank set, yeah. And no one else has the strength to use it. Needs strength six. Strength five. Strength five. Strength six. So you can actually use it, Juan. Juan could actually use it. Uh, armor plus five, armor plus five, armor plus three. This tank stuff is plus six. Plus six, plus nine. Didn't he have six strength? Yeah, no. No, no, no. I was looking at speed. Strength two, strength five, so one more strength on him, and he could use it. All right, so he probably gets a strength next time to get that armor on, because right now he has five armor, nine armor, Four armor. Wasn't this nine armor as well? Yeah. This is. Uh, this has this in in it, which gives plus three, so it's actually a six. So if we had some more of that stuff, we could get this up to twelve. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Is this modified? No. Now there's that. We don't have any thing to mod that. Okay. Right, well, it was nice stuff. And the nerd stuff thing I kind of liked. Do we have anyone with nerd stuff now? You have nerd stuff, right? Yeah. Right, let's quickly go talk to uh, La Perla here again. <laughs> Code was good, right? And the gear too. Yeah. Uh, hmm. We'll get back to you. Uh, so I'd rather attack the monster army than give her some poor innocent girl uh, to sell off to someone who's probably not going to be a very nice person if they're buying slaves. So I think we'll probably head out into the wasteland. What do we have for missions? We have the Sirlot. Uh, we have Cinema Verite. The Chicks Flicks Theater has... Ah! So my, maybe we go do that. Maybe we do a very hostile take our... I want Charlie's keycard. I want Charlie's keycard. Then there's the Scylla in Denver. I think we'll go do Cinema Verite first, and then probably a very hostile takeover. But we'll do that in the next one, guys, because we're out of time. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.